Yo, welcome back. Hasn't been too long. It's been a couple days since I posted the truck to car intake video. And I was sitting down a couple minutes ago, nice and comfy in the AC during this Texas summer. And I was like, wait, I don't think I've made a video on what you need to do to go from drive-by wire to drive-by cable and drive-by cable to drive-by wire. But I haven't done a drive-by wire, drive-by wire cable video by itself. You know, just talking about the different, the throttle bodies, what makes them different. You know, what makes what easier when you're doing your first swap. Now again, these videos are heavy talk. There's not much action, unless your mom's around. But just understand that when when you look at the, I got a comment yesterday about these videos and how I ramble on. I apologize. I do these videos off the dome. It's all freestyled. I don't sit there and talk about, talk to myself about what I'm going to say before I start the video. I just kind of go as I go and give it that Eminem flow. Anyways, drive by wire. You know, here you go. This is what it looks like. So you got plug that goes in there. And then, so how are we going to do this? Uh, we're okay. We're already right here. So drive-by wire Drive-by wire. This is gonna get a little technical. So bear with me as I go along drive-by wire started in 2003 For your truck engines your truck SUV engines They all started drive-by wire in 03 except for some earlier year Denali's and was it GMC Denali, Chevy Tahoe, Denali XL? No, I don't think they did Denali XL. But it gets a little funky in that 02, 03 year. Some, or I found that some 99 to 02 Denali's, I believe it's only Denali's, but fact check me on Google, come with drive by wire. But for the most part, most engines that y'all come across on the cheaper end, 03 and up had drive by wire. You could come across something for sale where they have a drive-by wire in, intake on it, sitting on it, but it might be an engine that came with drive-by cable. There really isn't a difference when you're talking about the engine and the intake. They're all Gen 3 is all cathedral port, meaning meaning these ports are shaped like cathedral. Your Gen 4 is square port, which is much better much much gooder much mucho bueno um but drive by wire is kind of more complicated so with drive by wire you have the drive by wire you have the actual throttle body and then you have a little drive by wire box and then you have your drive by wire pedal so the pedal connects to the box the box connects to the throttle body and that's how they all work in sync for the most part for most swaps if you're new all this stuff is I'm, I'm talking as if you're brand new to all this and you have no clue what we're talking about but you're trying to learn so drive by wire when you're doing your first swap is probably the route you don't want to go most no start or idling issues or any issues that have to do with the engine just not a starting or running well nine times out of ten it's the drive-by wire setup uh, it's not as simple as drive-by cable because it runs through a box that goes to the pedal now drive-by cable which is what I do on all my swaps drive-by cable is exactly what it sounds like it's driven by a cable and it has your main sensors that you need for idle air control throttle position sensor is all on the side your top one is idle air control the one below it is your tps i just helped a guy out uh, the other day he was having a hard idling issue where it was it sounded like it was only running on four cylinders and it was real shaky and it it sounded like it was cammed with a horrible vacuum leak and we were going through some things and i said well do a tps relearn he did the tps relearn and it ran a little bit better he shut it off he came back hours after work or something like that 
started again, ran perfectly. So the TPS relearn fixed, fixed the issue. You can't do that with drive-by-wire. It's not that simple. Drive-by-wire, you got to go into the ECU or into that little box. It's all part of tuning, and it is not as simple as just a changing a throttle position sensor or doing a throttle position sensor throttle position sensor relearn you could do something like unhook the negative battery for at negative post negative cable geez louise here we go with the rambling unhook the negative cable for like 30 minutes and see if that helps anything but for the most part when you have issues on your swap getting it started and you're running drive by wire nine times out of ten that is the culprit even back in the 2000s on the trucks suvs the drive-by wires had issues. You always, they, all, you would just have to replace the the whole throttle body because it could not start. It could randomly shut off when you're driving. You know, so drive-by cable is always my go-to, and it's always recommended. It's stupid simple. All your Gen three, except for LS twos, are three bolt throttle bodies. That goes the same for the Gen three, except for LS two drive by wire throttle bodies they're all three bolt what you can do say you get a gen 4 intake and you want to keep your gen 3 drive by cable throttle body you just get a four bolt throttle body to three bolt adapter or three bolt adapter to four bolt throttle body so let's say you've been seeing all the hype about the nnbs truck intakes trailblazer intakes um, the Gen 4 intakes on Gen 3, those are all 4-bolt if it's Gen 4. All Gen 4 is 4-bolt. The only 4-bolt that is Gen 3 is LS2. So say you want to put one of those intakes on there and keep your 3-bolt. You get the 4-bolt adapter to 3-bolt throttle body, and you bolt it back up. You obviously have to make your cable longer because you'll have about that much more of a gap with the adapter but it's pretty simple and complicated and confusing at the same time but when i made that video the other day i needed to be i wanted to make something more specific just throttle body based because i get a lot of messages of hey i'm having a hard time with my swap it's not running correctly or it's not starting and they have drive-by wire i see it all the time in the ls groups oh, nearly every time i see a no start issue in an ls group and it has drive-by wire it's usually drive-by wire now the differences the pros and cons so we, we basically went over the the con of the drive-by wire and the pro of the drive-by cable but if you want to run cruise control or if you want perfect throttle response drive-by wire is what you want to do because obviously you get into that the box for the drive-by wire and you set all that up the only thing is you got to have a tuner that knows what they're doing to get crisp throttle response out of this. You can this throttle response can be made much better than drive-by cable because the throttle response obviously you got to really have that cable adjusted like perfectly and that's, you know, that's pretty hard to do. But drive-by wire, you can get that pretty crisp. There was a suburb there's a video of a suburban I worked on had an LS3 TR660 and that it was like you barely tapped the pedal because it was drive by wire you barely tapped it and the throttle response was insane it was so good it was just to, you know you know what i mean hopefully your car don't sound like a lawnmower but drive by cable it's it's pretty difficult i believe i've never done the cruise control part so from the factory your tr your cruise control would have been hooked up to here and it would have been a separate cable ran somewhere in in inside or to its own i think actually i think the drive-by cable cruise control comes with its own separate box and that might be what you have to do to run cruise control on your swap drive-by cable but if you want simplicity and you just want something that works and is way easier to figure out with no start issues because even if it came down to it you could jam something in the throttle body I'm trying to do it one-handed you can jam something in there to keep that throttle body blade open 
and at least get air in there that way. Also, messing with your idle. So if, if you want to adjust your idle on there, you got to be through the ECU computer. Drive-by cable, it's still done through the ECU, but you can manually help it or make it worse, really, if you don't know too much about what you're doing. You can manually do it on the drive-by cable with that little screw right there and see how it presses up on the plate. That will raise your idle because it will open the throttle blade some or you lower it for the throttle, for the throttle blade to stay closed or closed more. But that is really it. I'm trying to trying to pause here and kind of think of what questions I might get asked or maybe um, maybe I'll see something in a group and be like, oh dang, I should have went over that. But I went over why you can't run drive by wire on a truck setup, accessory setup, water pump with a car intake. What else? What else? Oh. So now you, you decided, okay, I'm gonna go drive-by cable. Well, you have to have your ECU set up to run with a drive-by cable. You don't just go get any ECU because they're very different. You have an ECU set up for a drive-by wire, which means nothing in here is set up for any sensors on that throttle body because this isn't what runs that ECU, there, that throttle body. You have to get specific drive-by cable ECU, so drive-by cable ECU, drive-by cable uh, harness, and obviously the drive-by cable throttle body. Those three things have to match. So you go drive-by wire, you gotta get drive-by wire ECU, drive-by wire harness, and then your pedal, brain box for the pedal, and uh, well, throttle body. So a couple more things added to that, which also make it not as simple and the motto here is keep it simple if you're new brand new to all this keep it simple follow my videos keep it simple i promise you'll have a running driving car a lot sooner than you will if you don't watch my videos and you go off of what you see on facebook or other youtube videos because i come across other youtube videos where they don't keep it as simple as they should but I uh, will put a link to where I get my ECUs off of eBay. I actually just sent somebody a link today. I'll go ahead and throw in the Amazon harnesses I use. Um, you'll have to go through my other videos because there's, there's differences about that too that you need to pay attention to. But for the most part, this video was, I just wanted you to, you know, kind of give you a better path for when you decide what setup you want to go with. Most of y'all go with drive-by wire because that's what comes with the engine that you get. So before you start buying ECU and harness, hopefully you see this and you decide, oh yeah, no, I don't want to go that route. Just go on eBay, find you a three-bolt throttle body, or go to the junkyard, slap it on, get your drive-by cable harness, drive-by cable computer, and there you go. Or if you want to go drive-by wire and you have a good tuner you can work with and he can set all that up for you even better or pay an idiot like me to work in this hot weather and do it for you but that is really all i wanted to talk about here uh yeah that should be it drive a wire drive a cable good bad no but I almost sold the coot. I almost, well, I didn't almost. I had many messages, but I had the cooter for sale. Decided after a day and a half, I just couldn't do it. There's, I want a fastback. Can't, can't afford one because nobody wants me to work on their cars. So, but I'm monetized. So, <laughs> the forty dollars I'm, I'm making, maybe I can save up for about thirty years. But anyways, appreciate you watching. Sorry for rambling on. I just, I'm trying here. I'm just trying to help you. But appreciate you watching. Like, subscribe, comment. I still have some some Keep It Crusty t-shirts. If you go to my, my website, I don't have many left. Still working on a design for my new t-shirts, blah, blah, blah. But appreciate you watching. Uh, go build something.